add something. Uh, your, your Honor, just a clarification yes. regarding the matter dahil napapansin nga po natin, medyo... He's very minsan, nervous. I, I know. Na nervoso. Why... Ang kaklaruhin lang po, base dun sa salaysay po niya, dun sa loob ng investigasyon, uh, investigation room, pagkatapos po niyang investigahan, uh, yung interview niya, sinunod po yung tatlong OTS personnel, uh, we just want, isa lang sa gusto naming panote, is we just wanted it noted that after the second OTS personnel was interviewed, uh, nung pangatlo na, she was asked to go out of the room. So, hindi, hindi siya yung lumabas ng kwarto, pinalabas siya ng kwarto, doon na siya lumipat sa holding room sa kabila. Okay, when she was in the holding room sa kabila, what, uh, anong nangyari doon sa holding room? Mananglo? Uh, umupo, din, umupo din ako diyan. Oh. Doon ako natulog po sa... Doon ka natulog nung gabing yun? Opo, sir. Ah, so hindi ka maaaring umuwi o umalis? Hindi po, sir. So bali naka-detain ka na? Opo, sir. Ano nangyari pagising mo nung umaga? Hindi po ako nakatulog buong, buong gabi po, sir. Well, hindi naman katakataka yun at eh, kung ano-anong nangyari sa inyo. Pero nung, anong sunod na nangyari? Walang, wala nang kumausap sa inyo? Nung ah, gabi? Dumati, dumating yung, uh, hinintay ko lang po na dumating po yung anak ko galing sa Ilocos. Diretso nagbas, diretso na po doon, nagtaksi, mga 6 o'clock po. Nang nandu- umaga? Nang umaga po, diretso po doon. Okay, pagdating nung anak ninyo, anong nangyari? Uh, nagtawag na po sa mga kamag-anak namin, like attorney Farulan, uh, our uh, uh, family friend, hmm. yan po, dumamay din si attorney du- uh, yung araw na din. Okay. Thank you, Manang Gloria, Nalpase. <laughs> uh, Thank I will you, ask, uh, I will, uh, what time does Attorney Farolan did you arrive at the airport uh, to, uh, uh, I, uh, I presume, uh, represent uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Ortiz? Around after lunch, Your Honor. Uh, so it was already after lunch? Yes, Your Honor. That you got there? Yes, And what Honor. did you find? Uh, well, I, I, pagdating ko doon, um, nakita ko na po si Nanay Gloria. Uh, yun yung first time namin na uh, meet kasi nga po, hindi ko alam, hindi ko alam kung ano yung connection namin na nagpunta ko doon. Ah, uh, kasama na po niya si Maricon, ang una pong namin hinanap yung investigador. Uh, pinakilala po na investigador was a female uh, police officer. So what But is it, her name? Si De La... De Padua. De Padua. If I remember. I think it was De Padua. One of the... She is a, she is a policewoman? A police officer, Your she Honor. Is, she was in a... In, in a female police, police officer, Your Honor. Okay. Yes, Your she Honor. was in uniform? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Keep, uh, uh, she was in the... Uh, in the blue barong uniform of the police, Your Honor. Okay, so please proceed. Yes, sir. Then, after the... When I asked her, I just want to note that she was the one who was said to be the official investigator, but in fact, it was a different investigator who investigated Nanay Gloria Sunday night. So these are two different investigators because we want to also point out the importance of the gender aspect of the situation. Um when female detainees are being interviewed and subjected to interrogation by uh, by males. Um, ang so, sa amin po, may issues sa amin din yun eh, dahil may epekto po yun sa tao. Yes, naturally. But uh, to get back, well, I just want to establish the yeah. timeline. Ano? Nung uh, pagdating ko po ng hapon, tinanong ko kaagad, bakit hindi pa na-inquest? Ang uh, paliwanag po nila, hindi pa raw naayos yung papel, uh, kinukompleto pa raw po nila, at uh, inaantay pa na raw nila yung mga yung mga okay. tao. So wala pa yung wala uh, anong anong sumunod na nangyari? But uh, nung uh, bandang na, nung nagantay pa po ako doon, uh, nung nagantay po ako ay nung napansin ko na parang hindi gumagalaw. Oh. Nagtanong ulit ako. Uh, but hindi pa nag-inquest. Eh dapat kagabi pa nga to na inquest na. Oh. So I I became a bit insistent on on the inquest. Um, what time was this? This this was already around four o'clock around 4 o'clock. Okay. Ang sinabi na nila sa amin, uh, sa akin, uh, isasabay-sabay na lang po namin. May, I, I think there were two other um, persons under custody with a similar case. Isasabay-sabay na raw sila. Sabi ko, bakit kailangan pang antayin nyo itong mga taong to? Ko, eh, dapat nauna nang na-inquest tong si Nanay Gloria. Well, they, they couldn't explain it. So, sige, tanggapin natin. It's, uh, it was still within the 32-hour period. So, By 4.30, around 4.30, doon na po kami gumayak papuntang uh, Pasay City Hall, kung nasan po yung Pasay City Prosecutor's Office. Nung dumating po kami doon, mga past 5, mm-hmm. uh, we waited a bit, around 5.30, 6 o'clock, nag-umpisa yung, uh, uh, yung uh, inquest proceeding. Uh, 
against Nanay Gloria, siya po yung nauna. Then doon nga po pinresenta nung uh, sinubinti po ng police with the OTS personnel yung uh, written investigation report also, uh, which is also which also serves as the complaint against Nanay Gloria. Uh, the charge was violation of RA 101591 without specifying what particular section. Then when we further look into the the complaint nakatouch na po doon yung mga statements of course ng OTS personnel ang lumalabas po na complainants doon was the police officer si PO1 uh, Balesteros and the three other and the three OTS personnel uh, Galang, Abelia and Rosal nung tiningnan na po namin yung mga dokumento even their statements so they were made to swear before the fiscal on the veracity and truth of the documents and the attachments nung tiningnan po namin yung uh, attachments nila at uh, doon po namin nakita yung larawan ng bala na sinasabi nilang bala daw na nakuha galing sa bag ni Nanay Gloria. Nagtaka, nakakapagtaka po dahil bago kami umalis sa presinto, nagka, the police station, before we left, I had the chance to have a glimpse of, of the bullet that was uh, of the actual bullet which they said was the one they confiscated from Nanay Gloria. And it was totally different. The one appearing on the picture is a uh, It, it, it was short, stout, uh, rounded tip, silver yung uh, tinatawag nating uh, projectile o yung tinga. Uh, I have a picture here. If, if yan, yung, you're yan yung nasa red bag. Ito, ra, ito yung nasa red bag daw. Nilabas na. It, there was a picture. If, if, uh, yes, if I'd like please. to have a look at the photograph and uh, say. And then, yung na, um, pagdating ninyo sa uh, Pasay City Hall, They also, uh, when when we noted that, we asked uh, Assistant City Prosecutor uh, Willie Chan, uh, Your Honor, if you, may you may you please request them to present the actual bullet. When when they showed and uh, presented the actual bullet, it was placed in a bag, uh, in a resealable uh, uh, plastic bag, a small resealable plastic bag. It contained a red cloth uh, pouch mm. with some small, uh, I, I think those were beads, mm. a bead-looking. Uh, There were plastic beads, and there was also a bullet inside. But the bullet, of, the actual bullet, if you'd notice, is long. Yes. Uh, it was narrow, long, pointed, with a brown tip. I took the liberty of actually, I asked the honorable prosecutor to have it, to have a photo taken of the uh, of of the to uh, a photo uh, taken of the pictures. Yes. Could you just uh, submit that to the the pictures ah, yes. to the Before you continue, no, I'm not yes. stopping you, to the committee so that we can have it part of our records. Yes, Your Honor. And at this point, I'd just like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Ralph Recto and Senator Sunny Trillanes. We'd also like to, well, she was here a while ago, acknowledge um, Senator Leticia Shahani. Um, okay. I guess she stepped out. Anyway, proceed. Yes, Attorney Farolan. Okay, after you asked, uh, you questioned the assistant prosecutor uh, What? Chan, yes, about the bullets and asked for a photograph to be taken. What happened then? So they uh, produced this small plastic. It was uh, a receivable plastic with uh, those things inside. The red, a red cloth pouch inside with some beads. Um, I, I think small debris of plastics and a bullet. But if you compare the bullet, the bullet was narrow. It was mahaba. Patules, mahaba, payat, patules, at dark yung uh, uh, brown yung uh, tinga, yung dulo. Which was totally different from the one in the picture. The one in the picture was short, stout, uh, rounded tip, and the color of the tip of the projectile was somewhat silver, indicating that it could actually be a reload uh, of a 9mm reload. Yeah, for, for, the, the actual, for, for the record, Mr. Chairman, I've looked at the photographs. The photograph that was taken in the airport is of, I believe, a 9mm mm, uh, cartridge. And uh, the photograph that was taken in the Pasay City Hall is of a 30 caliber carbine cartridge, uh, which is entirely different. Uh, one is a rifle cartridge, the other one is a pistol cartridge. Actually, Your Honor, there is also a debate as to what the caliber of the bullet was, even the other bullet. Personally, I think it's a 22 long rifle type of bullet, the one, the actual bullet that they presented. But unfortunately, even the police officers there in the com cannot identify what caliber, or what caliber was the bullet uh, presented 
uh, before the inquest fiscal. And if you look at the and if you look at the complaint itself, it failed to indicate what was the specific caliber of that bullet which was confiscated with uh, Nana Gloria, allegedly confiscated all right. in the belongings of Nana Gloria. Okay, let's move on from the bullet. What happens after after all of this discussion with the bullet uh, was was concluded? What happened then? It, the, bu the bullet was the discussion on the, the discrepancy on the bullet of the uh, photo of the bullet and the actual bullet was critical because it made the inquest fiscal decide that well there is there seems to be a reasonable doubt on the exist on the identity of the bullet which was allegedly uh, confiscated from Nana Gloria which i think really made him decide to recommend to the city prosecutor to have Nana Gloria released without need of bail released for further investigation and instead of elevating the case to court like what happened to previous cases uh, he recommended that the case be subjected to the regular pre, uh, preliminary conference uh, process, Your Honor. The following day, the but, city but, prosecutor. Uh, but, yes, uh, be before the following day, at the end of the of the second day, uh, what uh, was was uh, Manang Gloria still in uh, detention? Uh, yes, Your Honor. She was after the inquest uh, proceedings. Nani Gloria was uh, brought back to the station where we, she spent another night, uh, and the following day she slept there. The following day. At around 10 o'clock, the Office of the City Prosecutor of Pasay City, uh, uh, City Prosecutor Fernandez, is, uh, approved the recommendation of Assistant City, City Prosecutor Chan, uh, which, again, released Nana Gloria without bail, without need of bail, yeah. and recommending that it proceed not with the court, but with the regular preliminary conference process, Your Honor. Very well. Thank you, Attorney. I'd like to direct my next questions to uh, General Manager Honrado. Onrado, uh, General Manager Onrado, when did you first hear of this case? Normally, Your Honor. Uh, no, no, I no, 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 not normally. When did you first hear of this particular case? At the end of the day, Your Honor, I uh, get no, I get a report of the cases and uh, unusual appearing at the okay. airport. Okay, let, let me let me try to be speci as, as specific as I can. The case of Miss Gloria Ortines. When did you first hear of it? I'm not so sure anymore, Your Honor, of the time and the date of where I got you, it. Was it the day after the same day that she was uh, she the, she was detained? The, was it while she was already spending the night in Pasay City uh, Detention Center? What, what, where, when did you, uh, Your Honor? In most of the time, I get it at the end of the no, day. No, no, I, most of the time, this is is, is uh, does not really help us here. What we need to know is the specific are the specifics on Miss Ortines's case. You do not remember when you first heard about it. Yes, Your Honor. I so, don't, I don't the, remember. The, so the reporting for this kind of thing is not so formal. But you wait a day, another three days, ganun ba? No, no. Sinabi sa iyo nakakulung parin pa si si uh, Manang Gloria o nakawala na? What I understand, Your Honor, is that the report sa akin ng ng PNP sir is it was uh, he was in, she was inquested. She that's was what, inquested. Yes, sir, that's oh. what that's what I inquested. Tapos na yung inquest. Yes, Your Honor. So nakalaya na siya. I do not know, Your Honor, kung nakalaya na po, but inquested ang nilagay sa akin. He was inquested at the passage. So, at the very least, two days afterwards, what did you do about it, uh, General Manager? 